Good morning, guys, and it is chilly this morning. The sun is coming out, so it may get warmer later on during the day. I'm heading over to the local fairgrounds for day one of autocross, and today is autocross school. And as you guys can see, I'm in the GTR. To me, the GTR is not much of an autocross car, but it is the only car I have right now, so I will use it. I haven't really pushed it, so it'll be a great experience. I would have loved to use my Nissan 240SX instead, but it is out of commission. So until I get that fixed, I'm gonna be using the GTR for most of my race events. Hi. Thank you. There you go, thanks a lot, yep. have fun. Will do, thanks. Let's go register. Free donuts, why not? The GTR has been through inspection and signed off right here and received a little sticker right there. All the tires are at 29.5, so I'll just keep it here for now. Number 30. So the entrance is over there. And you can see most of the participants have showed up already. Here's registration and where the donuts were. And here's how the course is set up. So we're probably going to be split into several different groups. And now we're going to walk the course with the rest of the group. It looks like I'm part of the first group that's going to be going out there and flagging down when cones are hit. Station six, number 21, plus one. So that's the end of the first group. I'm gonna return the walkie talkies and it's our turn. No cones this time. <laughs> All right, that's the goal. There you go. Thank you. Okay, guys. Forty-seven three. No cones this time. As long as there's improvement, then that's good enough for me. So that's it for autocross school today, and tomorrow's going to be event number one, and I'm looking forward to it because the more exposure I get on the track. Hopefully the more experience. So what did I learn today? I learned that the GTR is a much larger and heavier car than the Nissan 240 that I used eight years ago. And I also learned that I need to figure out where the car is all the time because what I was doing was I was hitting most of the cones during the slalom and that's where I was losing points. But as one of the instructors told me, it's better to have a faster speed and hit cones than have a slower time and not hit cones. And keeping on that positive note, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I'll see you in the next one.